The figure shown is the graph of a polynomial function g. Which of the following could be an expression for g of x? All right, so we have all these factored things and then this picture. So this is what we need to notice, okay? This is going to look like x plus something. Now, you might be thinking, what are you talking about? That's a negative. It's on the left side of the origin. If you're using the zero product property and you're factoring stuff and you set an x plus a number equal to zero, you're going to get a negative number for a root. So this is going to be x plus something. This guy right here is going to be x minus something. But you know what? That guy right there is also going to be x minus something. Now, this could be a small number like 1. So I'll put x minus a small number. This is going to be a larger number like 8. So I'll do x minus a big number. Most importantly, see how that number goes right through the x-axis. That number goes right through the x-axis. And this guy just kind of skips off the x-axis. Whenever it skips off like that, that is a double root. So whatever this guy is, is going to be squared. So I'm going to have a parentheses, a parentheses, and a parentheses square. So looking at my total possible answers, parentheses, 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 no squares. Parentheses, 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 no squares. Here's two squares, but ah, I need an x minus a kind of big number square x minus a number square, x plus a number square, so it can't be u. Let's double check. x minus big number square, x minus smaller number, and x plus some any number, who cares? C is my guy. Okay? There you have it.